A large part of being an inventor is being creative, looking to other disciplines and other fields and applying them to medical devices. My name is Jake Loeffner. I'm a research scientist here at Boston Scientific. Anybody can be an inventor. Anybody who really has a passion and a drive. My name is Matt Salkin. I'm a research scientist at Boston Scientific. The Rhythmia mapping system made a major advance on the mapping side of the EP procedure. But we still needed to make some type of advancement on the other half of the EP procedure, which was the ablation component. The whole field was converting to force sensing, but we still felt it was missing some important components. While you're doing your procedure, you really can't tell what is underneath the tip of your catheter. There needed to be more of a description on what type of tissue you were on and impedance came up as a possibility. We really thought we could do something that was better than just the generator impedance. An old colleague of mine liked to do a journal club on animals in nature and how their fascinating systems could be applied to medical technology. And one year he covered weekly electric fish and electric eels. For me, that was the big light bulb moment this could be the missing component that we need. Weekly electric fish and electric eels even do something that's really interesting. They're able to drive a small amount of current from their head to their tail to produce a local electric field around their body. Within their skin, they have specialized cells embedded to actually detect the compression or the expansion of these electric field lines as they close in on an object, like a rock. Electric fish use electrophysiology to actually navigate every single day. Why shouldn't we be using this really elegant system and apply this to our catheters? Our therapeutic catheter is the IntelliNav MyFiUI catheter. It has three miniature electrodes on the distal tip. Instead of measuring impedance from the tip of the catheter to a patch placed on the surface of the patient, we actually measure impedance by injecting a small amount of current from the tip of the catheter and sinking that current on the proximal ring of the catheter. Creating these local electric field lines, we use the mini electrodes embedded within the tip of the catheter, similar to those specialized cells within the skin of the electric fish to actually sense the compression or the expansion of our electric field lines as we close in on an object, in this case, the heart wall. It was a great opportunity which we could use some basic principles to really come up with a novel product. DirectSense enables a physician to understand if they have sufficient electrical coupling with a certain part of the heart, if they have good catheter tissue stability, or if they need to potentially reposition their catheter or push a little bit harder. It enables them to determine their potential for resistive heating. And then during the actual RF application, it allows them to understand the amount of local impedance drop now, with the addition of direct sense and impedance technology, you really start to understand what is underneath your catheter. Sometimes experiments can be very, very tedious, but at the same time, there's these moments of just absolute discovery where you feel like you're kind of punching through. What we really are doing here is giving a physician you know, a little bit more light in a dark room and makes their jobs just a little bit easier. You go into biomedical engineering with the idea that you're there to improve people's lives and patients' lives. This technology has the potential to do that. That's really why we do what we do at Boston Scientific.